Your timing is impeccable. I'd hoped to find you here, Adept. Blast has finished translating the tome. Once you're ready, join us at the Mage's Guild. Speak to Velast when you arrive. I'll be making preparations for your first trial. Velast will be expecting you at the Wayrest Guild Hall. I'll see you there, Adept. She did most of the hard work. I'll lead the explanation to her. Just know that Shea Gorath is nowhere near as clever as he thinks. She was able to unravel his nonsense and determine where you need to go. Huh! Shalador found you. Good to see you again. I've deciphered the spell inside the book. Are you prepared for Sheogorath's first test? Excellent. It's been fascinating to work with Shalador. Even though he can't read the book, he's been an invaluable resource. I had to decipher layers upon layers of meaning hidden within the tome. Yes, speak with the Archmage. He's meditating on the challenges ahead. I'm still somewhat drained from my effort, so he'll open the portals to the Shivering Isles for you. Auriel, watch your steps. I'm very excited about this project. Shalador's Sanctuary would be a boon to every mage in Tamriel. Even Guildmaster Vanus approves of our work here. I'm so glad you asked. On the surface, it's a simple book of nursery stories from the Dunmerland of Stonefalls. But that's just on the surface. So much more. Each story has hidden meanings, clever references to arcane lore, twisting and turning into the depths of history. It was fascinating to fully unlock the secrets of the book. Sheogorath may be a madman, but he's also a genius. Not much. We tried to scry into oblivion to get a sense of the place. I couldn't see anything, but I was swept up in a strong sense of homesickness. I came of age where most High Elves do, the beautiful green shores of the Somerset Isles. I often think of the pink petals and soft breezes of my homeland. I'm not sure why those memories return to me today, though. Of course, Adept. While investigating some ruins for me, you caught the notice of Archmage Shalador, ancient patron of mages everywhere. We're working with him to complete the Mad God Sheogorath's trials and recover Shalador's lost sanctuary. A genuine pleasure. He has a fascinating view of history from a first-hand perspective, and his knowledge of the deeper mysteries is... well, I feel like an apprentice again. Adept, what transpires between myself and the Archmagus is between us and no one else. I don't need to answer your questions or anyone else's. I'm so glad you asked. On the surface, it's a simple book of nursery stories from the Dunmerland of Stonefalls, but that's just on the surface. So much more. Each story has hidden meanings, clever references to arcane lore, twisting and turning into the depths of history. It was fascinating to fully unlock the secrets of the book. Sheogorath may be a madman, but he's also a genius. Of course, Adept. While investigating some ruins for me, you caught the notice of Archmage Shalador, ancient patron of mages everywhere. We're working... Ivea, it's called. In ages past, it was an island in the Somerset Isles. Set aside for mages from across Tamriel, Shalador worked tirelessly to make it a sanctuary, and just barely escaped when Sheogorath claimed it. He still won't tell me what happened. I gather there was some kind of bargain between them and Sheogorath came out the better. The brazier is ready. The last prepared it precisely, according to my instructions, of course. We're having trouble opening a portal directly there, so we created this anchor to help us. Some trickery of Sheogorath's, no doubt. The next time around, I'm sure this won't be an issue. You do the guild credit with your bravery and dedication, Adept. Hmm. I don't know what there is to tell, Adept. You probably know quite a bit about me already from the lectures the guild holds regularly about my life. 
or perhaps from the numerous books written about my legendary constructs. Ha! You might as well ask a parent which is his favorite child. So many of my little projects became legend. Ivea, Labyrinthian, the great ice fortress of Winterhold, and Glamoril, of course. But I do go on. I would not be here otherwise, Adept. It has been many years since I sat in my study, planning for this day. I laid in the runes and cast the spells with precision, knowing that someday the mages of Tamriel would have need of me again. That buffoon? <laughs> of course we can! I am the greatest mage who has ever lived. The Lost is the greatest living mind in the world, and you have already proven yourself incredibly capable. We will best his trials and reclaim my island! I was assuming they were spellbooks, tomes on advanced magical theorem, or ancient treatises on soul-forging artifacts. Instead, the first book we retrieved was full of nursery rhymes. Oh, they're far from nonsense. I'm loath to admit it, but Sheogorath actually was very clever. He disguised advanced spell work in the rhymes, using reference and allegory to hide his meaning. It took Velast quite some time to decipher, but she did it. Right on time. Welcome back. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever show up. My lord seems to derive amusement from my annoyance. You are here to retrieve a tome for that... Shalidor person, correct? Just a moment, mortal. Lord Sheogorath asks that you perform a task first, to prove your competence. He claims to have misplaced a pair of items. Items you must recover. A fork and a staff. Please do try to be quick. My lord enjoys making me wait, but he's not very patient himself. I've opened a portal for your convenience. It should lead you directly to the fork. I'd say, at your leisure, mortal. But I expect I have more time ahead of me than you do. My lord is certain he lost his utensil somewhere in Skyrim. It was during a visit to his friend Korthor in Vuldengrave. That was during the Marithic era, I believe. <clears throat> My lord visited with Korthor a very, very, very long time ago. Really? What do they teach mortals these days? It's an heirloom. My lord is quite fond of it. Has a bit of magic around it, too, I think. I don't know. I don't question Lord Sheogorath. The fork excites and synergizes magicka around it. When held in the hand of someone more notable than yourself, it can produce dramatic results. In your hand, it might be suitable for conveying roast beef to your mouth. This place is known as Voldengrave, the final resting place of Kortor, the Dragon Priest. Tread carefully. Where there are Dragon Priests, there are sure to be Draugr. No, not to Vuldengrave. But Skyrim is littered with ruins like this. Leftovers from the age when dragons and their priests ruled my people. In my younger days, adventuring across the holds, I plundered many of these dank little tombs. you never forget that smell. A dragon priest's tomb. Look at the treasures he's collected. Perhaps the fork is here as well. Old Corthors set up an ice barrier. Hmm. That chest. Perhaps the fork is in there.
Crit, Moth Pack. Crit. Ah, Kortor's awake. My priest will make quick work. Loth Dinuki. The shadows move, Adept. Watch yourself. Eyes to the sky. Another group. No matter. Come, face me yourselves. There. The ice barrier is down. We can get through. There you are. The fork is mine. You shall not be Dear new. Time, shall we? Hmm, I see you have the fork. Competently done. Impressive, even. Now, for the staff. When last we spoke, my lord recalled the discomfort of desert sand. I believe it lies somewhere within Hammerfell, in the dry and decayed hands of Prince Malil. Prince Malil Alakir, the Sith of Yokuda, a formidable warrior in his day. That was over a thousand years ago, but still. As I expected, another resting place for the dead. Shea Gorath has a sick sense of humor. This is the necropolis, Asakala, the resting place of Prince Malil, also known as the Scythe of Yakuda. The prince's underlings were clever. They crafted magical seals to guard his resting place. Observe the Yakudan statues. Each bears a crystal in the helm and a seal at the base. The essences you see swirling around in the air here? Their energy can be used to unlock those keystones. Here, I can grant an aura that will allow you to capture the essences as they pass through you. Collect as many of the small ones as you can. They should unlock these scarab seals on the statues nearby. I'll need to consider the other two. This place is incredible. The ancient Red Guards were a noble and accomplished people. What can I tell you, Adept? Alakir is under attack. A necromantic cult has disrupted the normal ebb and flow of life and death. The dead that once served Malil are now away into his tomb. You need only to be near them to collect them. My spell will keep the essence tied to you until you're ready to deposit it within the statue. Just remember, you'll only be able to collect four at a time. 
Beneath the statues lie buried the dead of Prince Malil's armies. Their essences have bubbled up from beneath the sands, released by the dangers threatening Alekir today. Just so, Adept. The lesser essences you see before you will empower the statues with the orange and green crystals. The statues near the entrance to this complex. I need to consider how we'll empower those two rear statues. What sort of archmage would I be if I didn't? I spent my mortal life seeking knowledge of all things, not just magic. Yokudan, or as you know them, Redguard, culture is no exception. If Valast was here, I'm sure she could tell you the same. the essences. Imbue them into one of the scarab seals. Ha! Who dares disturb my slumber? Good. Now to collect four more. Four. Imbue them into the other seal. Ha! You'll never best my generals. For such a superstitious, mage-hating people, this place is a work of art. Have you observed the sand barriers on those passages in the canyon walls? I suspect the Prince's generals may be waiting within. Their essences would no doubt be more than enough to activate the other two statues. Very simple, Adept. The seals at the basis of those statues show a scorpion and a spider. Those were the spirit totems claimed by Malil's chief generals, Sadina and Rashomta. You'll never reach Malil. The Venus statue should have the scorpion seal at its base. Ah. A lucky feat, mortal. The staff is still mine. Rashomta's statue will be marked with the spider seal. Hum with power. Go to the center. You 
should find the key to Prince Malil's tomb there. You dare open my tomb? Come then, and feel the scythe's blade! Insect! You will never hold the staff! Never! I guess Haskell will be waiting outside. Let's go. Another successful retrieval, I see. Very well, then. I have instructions to have you return to the Isles. My lord would have a word with you. Right on time. Welcome back. Look, Haskell! Farky's back! Oh, it's so nice to see him again! <laughs> oh, and good to see you too, mortal, I guess. Wonderful! I'll just take... <gasps> Forky! Oh, I've missed you so much, Forky! Let's never, never be parted again! Oh, it gives me goosebumps just to hold him in me hand again. <laughs> ah, the Wabajack! Malil held it down in that dusty tomb for so long. Say, why don't you clear its throat? Take it in hand and use it on some of these holier-than-thou temper types. Ah, no need to worry, you pretty mortal head. The Wabajack, it unleashes the potential in everyone. The unrecognized essence of artistic beauty that swells and beats within the... Look, you want the book? Whack some folks with a wabberjack! See, but not bad. So funny watching you mortals muck around with things you can't possibly understand. <laughs> I'll be needing that back now. And as promised, Debok. Well, go ahead. Take it. Once it's yours, it'll send you straight back to Tamriel. Funny how books have a way of transporting you. <laughs> uh, no? Oh. Simply hold your breath. 
close your eyes and count to, uh, let's say, a million. Ah, you've returned. Do you have the second book? Excellent. The Circus of Cheerful Slaughter? That's quite a title. I'll begin my research immediately. Can't wait to get to it.